Hi everybody. I haven't been here in a long, long time. I'd say I think my last video was certainly, I think at least probably two years ago, and so I'm just going to make this. Uh, I just wanted to reactivate my YouTube channel, and um, so many of you were so kind for such a very long time. Uh, in making this happen in the first place, that I wanted to be sure that I would basically be recording, uh, restarting this channel. I was also wanted to know if it was possible to reactivate it easily and to do a broadcast like right then and, th and then. And so here it is, just for me to, to be able to see that easily. So I'm just really pleased to be here. I'm in my new rectory of St. Mary's in Carlton Place, and as I record this, it's New Year's Eve, and um, I just wanted to take a moment here to invite you to something exciting. Um, I wanted to reactivate this YouTube channel because Facebook is not always the best platform for everybody to uh, log in, and that's the primary platform where we actually live stream uh, our masses uh, at St. Mary's in Carlton Place, which I have no intentions of changing in the short term at least. You know, um, long term, we can always think about it. And so I just wanted to take a moment here to acknowledge that um, YouTube is just available to so many people. And, um, and I'm about to launch um, an inaugural and annual lecture series on Vatican II. You see, in November of 1963, 60 years ago, uh, there was uh, an actual promulgation by St. Paul VI of uh, the Constitution on the Sacred Liturgy, known in Latin as Sacrosanctum Concilium. And I'm going to be giving uh, this lecture series every year. You know, um, this year it's going to be February 6th, 13th, let me just check the dates, 20th and 27th. Those are going to be the four dates in February, February 6th, 13th, 20th, and 27th. And then the last two of the lectures will be on March 5th and 12th. There's not going to be um, any Q&A that are going to be live stream live. But there's going, the lecture itself is going to be live streamed mm -hmm. and therefore the recording will be available. And so people will be able to join us live. Uh, we'll be broadcasting essentially at 10.30 a.m. Uh, on each of those days that I just mentioned, February 6th, 13th, 20th, 27th, as well as March 5th and 12th. All of this is in 2024 as I... Uh, as this will take place. I'm mere hours away from entering 2024 as I'm recording this. And I'm really, really excited to uh, for this lecture series. The very, um, the very inaugural lecture series is going to be uh, on the Constitutional and Sacred Liturgy, and here's the plan for the upcoming years. And so it, this is going to be annual, right? So in 2024, as I said, on the Sacred Liturgy, on in 2025 on the church with the constitution lumen gentium on in 2026 on divine revelation the constitution dei verbum and in 2027 the constitution on the church in the modern world known also as gaudium et spes and so starting february 6 at 10 30 a.m you can tune in to this lecture series it's going to be a, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful moment that we'll be able to share together. And so I just want to give you a quote from Father Blake Britton in his book, Reclaiming Vatican II, what it really s said, what it means, and how it calls us to renew the church. I really like this book. I highly recommend it as your spiritual reading through Lent, and specifically the first three chapters for now, the first chapter being the Paracouncil, what happened, number two, the true spirit of Vatican II, and number three, the sacred liturgy. That would be a great preparation if you were to read those three chapters ahead of the first lecture. Um, so my goal is not to basically do a lecture on the book itself, 
that's going to be sort of home reading for you. My my book is to basically like just my goal is to uh, go through to the original document of Sacrosanctum Concilium, the Constitution on the Sacred Liturgy, and actually like just have um, a, a slideshow that is going to have make available some of the quotes so that everybody in the church, but also the people that are watching the live stream are able to look at those slides as they as they are there. Obviously, I'm going to have someone operate the camera. Uh, I also want to basically draw on the documents that came after Vatican II that were actually liturgical documents that gave guidance. And I want to put them in dialogue with the original document. And so I want this to be practical, but also inspirational. I want us to for this to be also aspirational, meaning that it may very well lead us to evaluate our own liturgical practices, our own liturgical visions, uh, our own liturgical habits, uh, what uh, might be actually the what we're used to see in terms of Catholic worship in our churches, in the current parishes that we are living in. I'm a priest of the Archdiocese of Kingston. This is a personal initiative. This is not in any way endorsed by the Archdiocese of Kingston. Neither is it, you know, is there any opinion on it. I'm basically going to go straight as a pastor, from a pastor's perspective, and also uh, through my experience of 20 years as a priest, I'm going to be uh, giving this lecture. I have really studied Vatican II. I have read all 16 documents. I have been a lover of the church's liturgy, the Catholic church's liturgy for, you know, pretty much my whole life, you know, so, and I'm turning 50 in 2024. And so I'm really excited about this. There's a number of misconceptions about uh, what this constitution of sacred liturgy is. Few people have ever read it. And when it was uh, when Vatican II was implemented, many people got the impression that um, um, the people were implementing it in the parishes, in the local dioceses, had, were all experts on that particular document. The reality of it is that the picture was probably much more nuanced than that. It was probably very difficult for any bishops that was bishops in 1963 and thereafter in the 10 years, 20 years that followed to essentially, especially in the first 10 years uh, from 1962 to 1973, to even think, what am I supposed to do? What am I not supposed to do? Um, and there could have been a lot of formation that basically like uh, came on hand at that time and helped the bishops and help the local parish priests to basically do this. And the reality of it is that there was a number of experts at the time that were certainly weighing in and advising bishops and advising priests. And some of those experts were certainly, I'm sure, you know, very well intentioned, but there was in all likelihood, based on the experience that many of us have had, uh, in rediscovering the original document, then maybe the experts were not 100% lined up on the documents. Maybe they were pursuing agendas that were not so much in line with what the church intended with Sacrosanctum Concilium, but more in line with what they wanted to see. And sometimes maybe interpreting things, thinking for sure and being convinced that they were doing the right thing in the right way, but not necessarily doing the right thing in the right way just because they were thinking so. And so we have the benefit in 2023, 60 years after the promulgation of the second of the four constitutions of the 16 documents of Vatican II, to look back upon that whole experience and at the level of our parishes to be clear about what, would, what was the original vision of Vatican II for the sacred liturgy because it's still an authoritative vision and we can spend a great deal of time basically trying to basically like refer to experts in the field 
but there's no better experts than the documents themselves. And so I want to basically put people in touch with the original documents, with what the document actually says. And then essentially sharing from my own experience, what are the beauties? I love the church. I love the Catholic church so much. And I love the liturgy so much. And I do believe that it's an amazing way for us to come into contact with the Lord. And it's the primary way in which most Catholics come into contact with the Lord Jesus in the context of public prayer. And so that's what liturgy means, public prayer, the public prayer of the church. It obviously includes the Mass, both the Sunday Mass and daily Masses during the week. It also includes the Liturgy of the Hours, which is something that I did on this channel almost exclusively as I began this channel in the first place back in the pandemic. This is time now to basically move it to the next level. So I hope that this YouTube channel finds you joining in, tuning in, and sharing with, with others, some of your friends, uh, how we can actually do this. So Happy New Year 2024. And see you on February 6th for the first lecture of the annual mm -hmm. and inaugural lecture series on Vatican, Vatican II. God bless you.